you fear it, feeling such a great night on so many fronts everywhere except the scoreboard? Yeah, I yeah, feel sorry for I, I feel sorry for the boys probably more than I do for Toots because they um, they they just wanted to make sure they could get a win for him tonight in regards to the to the special occasion. So you know, I feel sorry for him because I know they're really hurting. Um, there's, there's, no, no, there's no problems with effort. They're probably, if anything, it was probably they uh, overtried in certain parts of that second half there. And once they overtried, they were starting to dig a bigger hole for ourselves. And then all of a sudden, digging a bigger hole, <clears throat> your effort overcomes your smarts. Um, yeah, we were disappointed with that. It was a you know, the better team won the second half. They played good football. We we just kept we just kept giving them a free passage out of their end of the footy field, and then we get them down in. They get it into our end of the field. They'd, they'd get a six again or a penalty, and um, they're a good attacking team. So you just can't keep giving them that that amount of football. And I think they're up to mid sixties, high sixties in percentage of percentage of football, and it's just it's just too hard to defend. It's the first 40, wasn't it, where you, you didn't cash in as you would have liked with, um, I think you had 60% of the ball and yep. twice you are over their line. Had those tries gone the yeah, other way? Three times, I think. I think Matty Tomeko was over twice, is that right? Um, Elliot got over once and then, you know, you get one or two of those, might be different, but I don't want to take that away from the Warriors' second half. They were, they were very good. Um, again, I was just... Um, I feel sorry for the boys because they're disappointed that they let their captain down. How do you sort of feel like this after a, a massive week? Um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm, it's, mate, I'm <clears throat> probably more proud now to be a Raider than I ever, ever have been. Um, you know, we don't, the fans don't deserve the result, <clears throat> you know, but we've already got to give, we've got to give the Warriors credit, but, mate, I've seen how much time and effort's gone into this this week uh, from every single person from downstairs to upstairs at Raiders HQ uh, family and friends and and the boys I, I've thanked them already but and they know how much I love them and the coaching staff mate I rocked up a training yesterday morning to Captain Run and didn't matter where you worked or where you were in the staff you had one of those great looking shirts on um, and I, I'll, I'll never forget this week ever um, so grateful to, to be a Raider and um, well, I know the, boy, the boys, you know, they were as upset as me. They we said we tried so hard and probably dug ourselves a hole, like Stig said. But, um, you know, I'll never, never forget this week. It's been very special. Um, you know, the result, result stings for now. We come out, we'll come out of it and, and um, win more games and the result will be, you know, in the background and, and the week will be something I'll remember forever, mate. Did you get a couple of those shirts? Uh, we try, we got a captain run one, so we yeah, we did get one. Uh, I don't know if Brittany had a box of it at home, box of my name since filling out, so uh, yeah, I'm sure there's one there somewhere, mate. You see, you see fairly Jane Jay, was it a big week emotionally and sort of um, hard to stay up, I guess, emotionally in a sense? No, no, it wasn't hard to stay up at all. Um, I think I started out our first 40 minutes and we, we might not have capitalised on it and might not have got a lot of luck with those errors, but geez, we'll fly into the line, mate. We'll, you know, it was a physical first half, um, you know, and they never gave in. And that was what I tried to say. I was saying to them, I don't know what the score got to, I think it was 24 or something, and it was just about get, you know, going. And not, it wasn't about me, it was about the jersey. And um, you know, we, they didn't stop trying. They didn't stop with their line speed. They didn't stop trying to belt blokes. We, they got <coughs> stick used to phrase through the week, so they come off the back fence, they jump the back fence to run at you, and we'll, we'll match them with line speed and collision, so um, no, there was no, no worry about getting up or drain or anything I, I tried so, I said from the get-go, when Stick said, uh, Stick and Donnie told me I was, had the, the, the weekend away, uh, the weekend off um, I'd have wanted to enjoy it as much as I could um, and it's not grand final week, but I remember saying grand final week, I want to make sure we all enjoy it, make sure we, you know, we focus on the job at hand but we, we enjoy it, and I'd I was never going to knock back an interview this week or last week and any stuff like that because I wanted to enjoy it because it's a special occasion and um, you know I don't think any of that overshadowed the you know the performance or the energy at all. You're both competitors, so I know you don't use excuses, but when you look at the stats, you're the 18th bloke to play 300 games at one club. Of those 18, only six men have been able to celebrate their 300 game with victory. So it suggests that the milestone and the, the fact that a club legend is reaching <coughs> such a special mark does make it difficult for that team to win for some weird reason. Oh, they would have been, they would have been up for it. And now it's a, 
they're a good team. They're, they're, we've seen the resilience they've showed this year in a lot of games, and um, you know we we know that, like I said, they don't come off the back fence. They jump the back fence, like Stick said. So uh, we knew they were going to be up for it. That's what big games are about. We know they're a good side. They're they're a lot better side. You know they've got a lot of resilience this year. They're showing a lot of backbone, and um, we knew that was going to be the case. So that that certainly wasn't overshadowed throughout the week and the preparations. Um, yeah, I didn't know that's that. Obviously, obviously, when when there's big games and the opposition players are playing big games, the other team's going to get up for it because they want to spoil the party. Uh, you know, and that's ended up what ended up happening in the second half. Jared, after all the build up, you've been looking at the ground and the calendar for quite some time. Now that you've finally done it, you've seen that crowd out there. It's not the result, maybe, but like, has it lived up to this expectation? I suppose that you always maybe envisioned it to be. It's probably it's probably way more than I. Anticipated, to be honest, um, I never, <coughs> I never marked the calendar. That's for sure. I'd stick and Donny a couple of times mentioned about, you know, we spoke about it last week about the how it all unfolded and it kept time to go away. I was waiting until I got to two ninety nine, um, so I never marked the calendar. Um, but it's over and above what I expected, um, and the results, like I said, it's, it stings. The boys are in there; they're all <laughs> probably more upset than me. Um, but. The, the 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 week itself, what the club's done for me, what the, what my family's done, what my wife's done, I'd, what the community's been like, social media, it's you know, it's social media's been positive for once, it's been great. Um, <laughs> what everyone's done for me um, this week, it's and Benny and the the guys upstairs, um, they've, you know, they've they've done so much for me this week and. Um, it's been over and above what I ever expected, to be honest, to answer your question. So, um, like I said, it's a disappointing result, but the big picture, I'm, I'm so grateful for, for what everyone's done for me this week. Ricky, how, how important is Jared's career <coughs> for the future of the club and as an example for the next generation of players? I think, um, and, and take it for what it is, what I'm about to say, but the, the week this week has shown probably from our player 39 to player 22, 21. Exactly, if you buy into this club, how the club buys into you. This club has been, uh, sorry, this week has been an unbelievable example of what we are about. And those younger players that we've got in our group have enjoyed the week with Jared. <clears throat> By no means that the week this week has had anything to do with our performance because I said pre-game that I was really happy with our preparation this week the professionalism and the, the way they maintain their focus, the way they handle any type of distraction, uh, we enjoyed it. And if you can't, if you can't handle those weeks, there's no good trying to play a semi-final or a major semi-final or a prelim final or a grand final. That's good practice for those young blokes. But it's shown those young blokes what this club's about. We don't, we don't go advertising and promoting what our culture in this club holds. Um, we live it and execute it. Um, and what this... What this club is um, about is blokes like Jared. Uh, that's why we're so proud of him. Um, <clears throat> to be, and what, what I said to you there a moment ago about what I'm going to say is, I'd rather have this week and lose the two points than have a shitty week for Jared, promoting his 300 and winning two points. Now, if that costs him at the end of the year into the top four, top eight, so be it. That's our fault. But I much prefer the week we've had. The crowd out here. I, I can't. I can't thank the people enough who turn up here tonight. What was it 22 and a half, 23, 21 and a half thousand people? Um, we would have had 6,000 here. So I'm happy. I'm happy that Jared's enjoyed a really, really special week, and that's what it's. That's what it's about, because this club is has a wonderful, wonderful culture, um, and it looks after its own. Yes. Yeah. <laughs>